Hey guys, so welcome to vlog 257. Um, pretty much lots of stuff and things happened today. Um, but today I'm going to, I'm going to at least try to hopefully not talk about Mammoth because I know that's been pretty much the vlog subject for like every single video the past two years and uh, three of it. <laughs> um, it. Just a really long time. has a, It's been a few months though. This is all about Mammoth. Actually, I think since my channel reboot, it's been all Mammoth. Um, which is pretty bad. <laughs> well, no, uh, Mammoth's amazing, but um, some people are probably getting tired of it. I think that's reasonable. And the ski season's coming to an end, so never fear, because once the ski season ends, I kind of realize, hey, you know, there's, I'm, I'm not going to be able to go for another year. What am I so excited about? Because, I mean, when it's coming up, I want to study it. I'm trying to get really excited for my trip. But after it happens, um, eventually it starts to die down. Start to focus on, like, I'm obsessed with ski lifts during the winter. And usually in the summer, I think I like cars and trucks, which are pretty cool. And every, it seems everyone loves cars. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on. But oh, I thought I heard someone. I whoa, whoa, I thought I heard someone call my name. Anyways, we're pretty much just hanging out here, vlogging, doing stuff and things. Yeah, I watched Slip Gator today. Um, but yeah, I went to school today. Block schedule still. So two hours of PE. That was fun. Of course, I live in Southern California, so it was really hot, and I'm dribbling a basketball for an hour out in the burning sun. I'm oh, so tired. Oh, yeah, you know, you get it. Um. But yeah, it's really, it's really a pain having to have every class for two hours. I mean, usually it's nice and fun, but when it, your class is for two hours, it's like, oh, when is this going to end? But luckily my science teacher realized that, and from during a block schedule for the next three weeks, about an hour into the period, we're going to take a break, and we're going to walk, we get to walk around, um, the school building, not the whole school, but just the building that we're in. We're gonna walk around for uh, five minutes to get some like fresh air and oxygen and kinda relax our minds and stuff. So we're not just thinking hard straight for two hours because that is a big thinking class. Anyways, so that's pretty much that of it to go. I'm not for some Slipgator always loves doing weird words and now when I'm pretending to be like Slipgator, I'm like but, uh, mm, just putting a whole bunch of random words in my sentence to make it goodly er ish. See that I just did it right there. I just did it. So yeah, that's exact. I'm like talking exactly like him now. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking about Slipgator or try at least. Um, so let's see what else happened today. Nothing much. I didn't have much homework tonight because I finished like all of it last night, pretty much. Um, now that we're on block schedule, whoa, block schedule, we get two days for each homework, which is pretty nice. Um, and it's totally awesome sauce, so yeah, I pretty much have nothing to talk about, because Mammoth is like the only thing, so I guess we're gonna have to lose that bet of trying not to talk about Mammoth, even though we're like four minutes into the video and we could end it here, I was gonna look like a short vlog and be like, whoa, what happened here? But yeah, Mammoth Snow is pretty much drying up. Um, they might as well end the season. They only have eight lifts open out of the 28 that are normally in operation at this time of year. So I don't even know what they're holding on to. I mean, see, on, honestly, there's like no more storms coming. Summer's falling. This is what's happened. Ooh, I know what I can talk about. Climate change. We've been studying climate change in school. And pretty much what we heard in the documentary we're watching is that if these ice caps continue to melt in the, like, Antarctica and Greenland and stuff like that, um, the water level's just gonna keep rising, and it's gonna eventually be able to bury, like, the whole San Francisco Bay Area, which is, like, a couple, a lot of million people. It's gonna bury, like, a lot of New York and... Oh, that's, um, let's see, a lot of places in Asia, like China and India, I guess, um, are low-lying. So, there's one spot in China where when, once the water level rises, it buried, like, 40 million people, which is 
insane. That's that's just crazy. And then what else? I'm surprised they didn't talk about Los Angeles, but I guess maybe the water level can't get to us. Maybe because that we have like I know we have really steep cliffs, cliffs, cliffs. Um, um, next to what am I talking about? Next to the city, like right next to the beach, we have some you know huge couple hundred foot cliffs. So the water level of the whole entire world ocean would have to rise a couple hundred feet for that to happen. But yeah. So maybe we won't be buried. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. If you liked this video, leave a like. If you disliked this video, leave a dislike. Don't forget to share your opinion in the comment section down below. And I will see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.